like to start my speech from uh, with the story, but it's not so funny as previous one. Well, I was sitting in the park reading book, and there was a children's playground nearby. It was full of children running, playing, laughing, crying. There were a lot of uh, young mothers with toddlers. Well, my worst it was Elmer. But my attention was attracted by one person. There was an old woman, and she was running throughout all this playground like children. No, she wasn't uh, insane. She wasn't infantile. She was just following her grandson, following to protect him from every potentially dangerous activity. She was trying to climb somewhere, she was trying to put him down. She was trying to swing with a stick, she was cutting him. Well, uh, she, I must admit that she was very fast and energetic for her age. She probably, one may say that such a caring grandmother, isn't it? Well, what this child, uh, what was the child doing on the playground? Playing, running, definitely both of them, but unconsciously she was learning. Learning and discovering the world. Learning how to control his body, how much force he needs to apply to throw a rock into a fan, <laughs> for example. Which muscles you need to activate to climb somewhere? She was learning sedation. Yes, this is a word really English. <laughs> uh, that means that if something happens, that causes something else. Well, she was learning sedation like what will happen if I throw this rock in, the, in a fan? What will happen if, if I hit this bottle? What will happen if I jump into this mud? But, but what did she learn? Do nothing. Every single activity is <laughs> potentially dangerous. Probably he doesn't know even why, but the voice of an old person told him that you need to care about it. You need to care to do something. Let's imagine that that boy, grown up, is 35 years old, he's married, and, for example, his wife faces some problem, mm, creative crisis. She wants to change something in her life, something global, her job. She doesn't know what she wants to do, but she's sure that she doesn't want to do what she's doing right now. Every time she comes back home, she feels exhausted. She feels exhausted, not because she needs to do a lot of work, but because she needs to force herself to do every single action. She needs to force herself to do things that she hates. And our husband, loving and caring about her, of course wants to help her. Dinner and hot tea are waiting for her. Come back home. Massage before the sleep. And of course he wants to persuade her to stay at this job because it is very good job. Good salary, paid on time. Opportunities of promotion. And for what lose all of this? He starts all from the beginning at 35 years to look at, to look for a job, the lowest position with very low mm, salary. For what? He doesn't even know if she wants to do that or this or that. 
is the master of fear of 70s level, it even can put some ultimate. And what our wife did, she feels with all her soul that she needs to change. She needs changes. But she's afraid because uncertainty always scares us. Probably she's scared to death. And she needs support to overcome this fear. But he refuses. He does not support her to overcome because he knows that every single action is potentially dangerous. He is locked in his world and trying to make other people lock themselves. Of course, she feels mm, how to say. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> she feels her broken and uh, she try she's trying to lock herself out of her husband. <laughs> And I suppose that husband wanted to do not this thing. Why is that that happened? Only trying something new, we can find something better than we have right now. Benjamin Franklin said that experience is the only school where you can learn, but lessons cost a lot. So. My point is, if you love somebody and care about him, about him, do not deprive him of this lesson, but share the cause of this lesson.